Hey guys, coronavirus workout day seven. All right, I know you're all getting stir crazy by now, so let's just keep it rolling, shall we? All right, let's move straight into it. Uh, warm ups, push ups, sit ups, squats, leg exercises, and then we're gonna, gonna do some fakes and finish with a fun one to, to round it all out. All right, let's go. First up, warm ups. Now we've got the, the timer here, we're gonna use it. All right, 30 second sets. You can do it for reps if you want, I suggest 20, or you can just follow along with me, or you can set your own time and do a minute, whatever. I'm doing 30 second sets. All right, so a squat thrust. Very simple, I'll show you, then I'll start the clock. Very simple squat thrust, from here, shoulder width, hands down, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Notice I'm putting my hands on the floor before I kick my legs out. Don't drop like that. Oh, it's just a real good way to strain your wrists. Good. All right, now another one. A little bit more of explosive. Jump knees up, hands up here. Whose idea was this? It's a heart pump. All right, next, push-ups. We'll do two types today. We'll do the crucifix push-up, which I think you already know, and we'll do a shin check push-up, which we don't know. Uh, all right, let's get after it. Crucifix push-up, first up, 20 seconds. Crucifix push-up, do a push-up, go to 12 o'clock. Vertical, don't go past the vertical, okay? All right, let's do it. Follow your hand with your eyes. Next one, chin check push up. I'm going to show you this way and this way so you can get a real good look at it, okay? Basic push-up push up position. Now, as we go down, I'll put my hands down just to make it easier. As we go down, we'll bring the knee up to the elbow. Bring the knee up to the elbow, okay? If I go this way, you'll see it from the other side. Bring the knee up to the elbow. Bring the knee up to the elbow. All right, so I'm going to bang out a quick 30 seconds of that. All right, ready? We're going to do two exercises. Uh, I'll show you, show you both of them, then I'll start the clock for 30 seconds on each. First one, cross side feet. So, don't look up the leg of my shorts. All right, so left hand, right foot. Boom. 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 Like that. Okay, that's the first one. The second one's a little different. Cross your ankles. We call this one an MMA setup. Imagine you've got somebody in your guard, you're holding them up between your legs, you're sitting up off your, off your butt, and elbow in the knee. Lay back down, come on, elbow the knee. Lay back down, come on, elbow the knee. Okay? Now for that one especially, it's worth throwing, showing you side on, because there's a few things you've got to pay attention to. 
back is on the floor, then sit up, all the way up onto my butt, bang the elbow, come down. Okay? Alright. Let's do this. 30 seconds on each one. Starting now. Notice one hand's on the head. All right. All right, no workouts complete till we've done legs. Let's do one set of squats, one step of hand down alternating lunges, and one set of Jump switch lunges. Regular squat. We all know this one. Look, easy. All right, remember, weight down on your heels. Now, the next one's a little more complicated. Left foot forward, right hand down, right leg up back. Basically, all I'm gonna do is switch hands, switch feet. Just like that, keeping my butt down. And the last set will be a lunge. Just like that. Jump switch lunge. Okay? So, here we go. Three by 30 second sets. Here we go. So, regular squats can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with regular squats. It's a great exercise. If you do nothing else, just bang out 50 to 100 of these every day, you'll be fine. All right, now. This one doesn't look too hard, but it catches up with you. After about 20 seconds, you're really gonna feel it. As you can hear, my breathing's getting heavier all the time. Whoa, I feel that in my legs. Right, last set, jump switch lunge. That got you going, didn't it? Did you get the fight? How about it? Cut! Right, next up we're gonna do six fakes. All right, and we're gonna add them to our shadow boxing. So we're gonna do a fake and then a strike or a, or a combination. Um, basically, the, a good rule of thumb is when you're sparring or in competition or in a fight or whatever, every time there's a break in the action, every time you come together and then you, then you break, on the re-entry, on the re-engagement, throw a fake in there. Throw something. Try to get them to bite down on the fake so that you can, you can step in and cover distance and land your real strikes. So, before we do our 30 second sets, I'm gonna show you each fake individually. And I'm basically just gonna do all, it's all six of those fakes and then add something to it. 
you can follow what I do if you want, or you can do your own stuff. I mean, there's really no limit as to what you chain to these fakes. It's really just a matter of working on each fake and getting comfortable with it so you can chain it to different stuff, whatever your favorite techniques are. All right, here we go. First fake. It's a very simple lead shoulder fake. Now, what are we faking? Could be faking a jab. Could be faking a hook. Could be anything. All we're doing is here. Just that's it. Now, look. Boom. Now, I'm doing it on the spot right now. Boop. But in a fight, I would go boom, bring it up, and then launch for whatever my next attack was. So I'd be. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Left shoulder fake first. Side, all it is is a right shoulder fake. Okay, we're just throwing the shoulder. Could be a right cross, could be all sorts of stuff. Ha! So, ha! But I want to step forward a little bit as I do it. Okay, right shoulder fake. Shoulder to the cross. That one works quite well. Fake shoulders to the left hook. Next one, even simpler, just a head fake. All right, that's all I'm doing. So neither shoulder moves, just my head comes forward. I also take that step. So it involves that head fake, but it's just a little bit more, more aggressive. All right, anything you've got to do, anything you can do to just get them to like shell up and go defensive, so you've got time to creep forward and launch your real strikes, it's a winning combo. And a stomp fake. It's a front foot fake. I call this one a tie hop. I've heard a few other people call that too. Basically, I bring my front leg up as if I'm going to throw a teep or something like that. And I use that movement to give me time to hop forward. So I go, boom. Now, a couple of things to pay attention to. Number one, you notice I didn't come up. I didn't go. I kept my head fairly low. I brought my leg up under my body. Look, boom. As I'm bringing this foot forward, uh, bringing this foot up, this foot scoots forward. My feet never come together. This foot comes up, and as this foot comes up, this foot comes forward. I don't bring this foot forward and then come up. Don't do that. Get your timing right. So you don't go, hmm, it's this. Okay? So that's boom. And then that's high hop. I love that one. Tie hop, elbow. Tie hop, elbow, rip. Tie hop, elbow, rip. Low 
kick. Toy hop, knee. Toy hop, step through, left kick. Toy hop, right kick. And the last one, the back leg fake. This one's pretty simple. It's basically like a Superman, but I'm not throwing Superman. So, I'm faking a kick, putting the foot down, and then stepping forward. So I can use that to set up another kick, I can use that to set up a lot of stuff. Step, lift, step, step. Alright, now, last one. Back leg fake. Step, fake. Step, kick again. really enough time keep working on it for the rest of the day if you want you add this to your arsenal you'll be surprised at how much more effective you become all right almost finished one more technique for the day spinning elbows i know you guys have been looking forward to this one the most important thing to worry about is what your feet are doing now my center line is here i'm going to step just across the center line with my lead foot my back foot doesn't have to step all right i'm going to leave that foot there look I just turn, spin the elbow. All right, that's the basic way. So, step in here. Boom. You can step the back foot through if you like, but we're not going to worry about that today. Today we're just going to do the first bit, the simple, most straightforward way. All right, this is what you do when you're first learning the elbow. So you step, boom, and that's it. Back foot doesn't go anywhere. It will turn, but it doesn't step. All right. So now. I'm going to do 30 seconds orthodox, and then I'm going to do 30 seconds southpaw for the lefties in the, in the class. So uh, you can do both if you want, or you can just stick with orthodox. It's up to you. All right, here we go. Ready? Begin. You set it up to the left. Don't forget to breathe out through that elbow. Go back the way you came. Right, and from South Pole, same basic idea. That's us done for another day, guys. Bear with me, stick with me. Tomorrow we got even more fun and games.